at a time where we have heard about so many foundations all over Nigeria. We've heard of NGOs across the country who say they want to help people and individuals get back on their feet. We have heard about a certain Piodun and Ibikunle Foundation, which helps startups, entrepreneurs, and of course, schools and kids in some of these schools. Their vision is driven by directive by the Holy Spirit. And of course, they are following through with this vision till the end of time. My name is Damlaro Kola. You're watching Legit TV. I want to find out from this foundation what they do, why they are doing what they are doing, and how much they have invested in it so far. I also want to find out if they plan to stop anytime soon. Keep watching Legit TV. My name is Blodon, Blodon and Ibikule Foundation, and Blodon and Ibikule Foundation. We have three cardinal mandate points that are to enter our entrepreneurs, drive educational support, and also health. But the main key areas of focus now is entrepreneurship and education. Why, why did you decide to do something like this? Okay, um, the experience dates back to my executive MBA program in Ife. Um, that's where my entrepreneurial journey started from. Um, I finished from Ife uh, Masters. But during that program, uh, because for that program to happen, uh, we have to journey from Lagos to Ife every weekend. And um, basically, we have to go through public. Um, private bus arrangement and like a corporate bus transport system. So we have two bus locations in Lagos, one at Maryland, the other one at Oregon. So the experience of our period or the journey period during that uh, period was kind of nasty. So let me share for you an, an experience. Okay, um, the guy running the one at Oregon management skills are bad, uh, time management is work. Now, the, most people now go through Maryland. Now, the one at Maryland, because of um, a large crowd of people, couldn't manage time. So most of the time, uh, we either get to lectures very late or we miss out of two or three lectures. So one particular Sunday in church, because I attend this at Christian Center, um, I was troubled in my spirit, look, trying to look for a solution, and it's like the Holy Spirit said, you know what, just shut up and fix this thing. So that's where I now joined into entrepreneurship, and um, starting that, I have to call one or two of my friends, but because of the um, cost implications, some of them backed out. But God so good, it saw me through. Now, starting that journey, the Holy Spirit said, you know what, 10% of all your earnings should be set aside for another project that I'm going to I'm going to introduce to you. Now, we started that journey. I finished from if I graduated. Now two years have down the line, it told me to hand over that project to another person. That is it, going to take me into another project where I have to basically enter, um, engage and empower entrepreneurs. So along the line I started meeting one on one with some entrepreneurs they'll come to me and say, you know what, how to venture into business, kindly guide me, and I do that. But sometime last year, the Holy Spirit said, you know what, it's time to go public, so I have to call a couple of my friends that we are in sync with, and they do these things on to, also on their own. So we came together and I formed a thing that gave rise to the other one in Bikule foundation and got too good um, this year it has been a wonderful experience and the journey has been okay there have been ups and downs but God has been faith. My targets are more or less the small and micro businesses um, also deserving uh, pupils that um, don't have access to maybe like funding and um, 
things that would practically make their lives better. We all know that um, in Nigeria, as we speak, what really runs our economy is small businesses. And we find that most of these um, small businesses are incapacitated by just little funding. The City Invest program is targeted at small businesses, basically the smaller micro businesses. So and what we do is um, we provide asset grant for these entrepreneurs. These are uh, entrepreneurs uh, uh, with small businesses, basically uh, fashion entrepreneurs that just probably do not even have stores yet. Uh, uh, fashion designers, we've had to work with different businesses. So basically what we do is that we support them with asset grants in form of equipment. We don't give them cash, but let's say they need a particular machine or some other equipment that, that will make their work faster or better or easier. We help them procure and then we give it to them. So what the way it's run is that um, there's, there's usually a call for applications. After the applications have been received, we review, we shortlist, and then after the shortlisting, they get in, um, invited for a review session. So during the review session, they meet with the board of directors and then we uh, select the eventual 10, 15, 20 or web businesses that will get the support. This year so far, we've been able to support um, 35 businesses and um, the, there's a current um, call for applications that will probably support another 15 or 20 businesses. So next year, we're definitely scaling up. For, for next year, we are looking at, um, I think in the first quarter, we are looking at having some sort of forum where we'll bring these businesses together. So we are thinking of um, uh, introducing education as part of it because from our interactions with these um, entrepreneurs, we noticed that there's a, there's a shortfall of knowledge for some of them, maybe in branding and marketing and things like that. So early in the first quarter, we are thinking of having a forum where this will be addressed, corporate, law, all of that. So that, that will cover that. And then for the school support also, uh, the school support, we are also, because for this year, we only partnered with one agency. So next year, we're looking at working with more schools, providing back to school supplies for the students in um, public primary schools in Lagos, and then um, also scale up from there. As a foundation, as a group, what's the driving factor? What's the motivation? Why have you kept doing this? Testimonials are very important to us. You know, when you hear people's success stories, when you hear how their businesses are being transformed, how their lives are being transformed, you know, people, it just doesn't go, it goes beyond what we do at the city event review session. These people have personal contact with us and they share the impact with us, you know. Some of them even go as far as sharing their personal plans with you. You know, so you understand that it's not just about grabbing what they can grab at the seed event. You can see people with passion also. They want to drive their business. They want to make changes, social changes in their business. I have a particular one that she shared with me what she has in mind. She wants to train like 1,000 tailors. She is also a tailor, 1,000 tailors. And Every day, it's more or less like a mentor-mentee relationship right now. She tells me what she's doing on a daily basis. So you can see that their own journey is also getting better. So for me, it goes beyond what we do at um, Yodo and Ibikunde Foundation, assisting them because just like my other director said, it's a ministry. And when you impact these people, you're impacting the generation. So what's the need for you, for the, for the organization? Because I believe even if it's a non-profit organization, there's probably something in it for you. Maybe you're looking to get a grant, or maybe you're looking for an appointment, or maybe you're sort of looking for something. What's in it for you, actually? Well, uh, just like my president said, um, it's a ministry. It's a ministry for us. Um, he, he was divinely spoken to. And for me as a person, coming into this project, also it's a ministry for me. Because for my own personal business, it's a ministry. What it means is that um, we're not, we're not. It's not a coincidence that we are into this. Um, fine, if grants come later and all these things, but we are in it because we are doing what God is telling us to do, to impact our surrounding, you know, impact our people, impact people who are less privileged in terms of, you know, what will make their lives better. So. It's not generally because we're looking for um, someone to come and tell us that we're doing a good job or someone to come and say, okay, because this is what you're doing, this is what you get. No, 
but we are doing it because it is our ministry. It's what we have been given to be able to impact other people's lives. And not forgetting, just like what my president said, that when um, you get pushed by just a little bit of um, support or assistance, you can do the unbelievable and unthinkable. So for me and for my team, for my, uh, my team, yeah, it's for us to be able to impact people um, in our own generation and uh, see how best we can make the best, you know, out of our lives. That's basically. Does it, does it mean that you really don't want people to come in and support, or maybe they've not come yet? Maybe you're still expecting. Does okay, we've had um, people come in because okay, part aside the entrepreneurial engagement, we also have one of our programs called. Uh, school kits, so to engage um, schools and also support them in terms of scholarship, in terms of kits. And we have people coming, so when they come in, what we do basically is this. We tell them, okay, so let's take for instance, um, for every uh, edition of the entire, uh, the seed invest pitch, we empower about 15 to 20 entrepreneurs. Now, if we see someone that is willing to come to join force with us and also to assist, what we do is, is to add to what, we are not going to ask the person to transfer any money into one account. What we are going to say part time is that, okay, out of this four edition of uh, the CDVS program in a year, the maybe a corporate body or an individual can take one slot. However, that will not stop what we are doing to add to it. So if you are doing 20 before, now we'll be doing 40, we'll be doing 50 and more like that. We are not stopping anytime soon. So it's going to be a going concern and stuff. Um, the mandate is not to stop for a season. The mandate is to engage. Now along the line, we might transcend into other, uh, because those businesses will go into an emerging businesses, we might take them up to say, okay, we are going global. Because one major uh, vision for us is to take those businesses global. So we. We are not stopping anytime soon.